Ladies and gentlemen, I am Yisrael. It is the 11th of August 2017. It has just gone 8 p.m. British summer time, 9 p.m. Central European summer time, 1900 universal coordinated time, and everyone else can do their own maths. Welcome one and all to a slightly impromptu ship stream, and I've got a few things. Well, I've got two ships really to show you today. We might do some others just in case things get interesting. Joining me tonight is Stuntman9630. Wargaming still haven't caught him. Say hello, Stunt. Hello. Indeedy, Wargaming pursue him, they try to catch him, <laughs> but like the Scarlet Pimpnel of leaks, he cannot be found unless he wants them to. Also joining us today is the first of the work-in-progress ships that Wargaming have very kindly lent me. They've lent me a few others, but I can't talk about those just yet, so don't ask. There's one other I can talk about, but, well, we'll get to her later on tonight. First and foremost, however, we have the Graf Zeppelin, the Tier 8 German carrier. Again, disclaimer, this is work in progress, and one of the reasons we're back with her tonight is that she's already had a major rework. Of those of you who saw her in 068 in my streams and other community contributors will be aware that she used to have three squadrons of torpedo bombers, and this was a little bit overpowered, to say the least. She bullied battleships. She bullied destroyers, she bullied cruisers. About the only thing she couldn't bully was another carrier, and that's only because of the two-minute defensive fire anti-air cooldown. So, the torpedo bombers have gone. They have been replaced by dive bombers. The Stuka is back in its most famous role. And you get a choice of bombs. You have either the SC-500 Kilo High Explosive Bomb, which is bit less accurate, does a bit more alpha damage, and if you're wondering why a 500 bomb does more than the American 1000 bombs, bear in mind that the Americans use pounds, the Germans use kilos. That 500 pound is more like, sorry, 500 kilo is more like 1100 pounds. These are currently the heaviest high explosive bombs in the game. General purpose, fairly standard, but that's not what's got people interested. What's got people interested is the, uh, the Paulina. The PC-500, technically the PC-500RS, because this, yeah, these things come with a rocket assist, which goes some way to explaining why they have 200mm plus of penetration, at least in the sources I've seen quoted. So yeah, this is Enterprise only more so. The fighters are unchanged. You still get two squadrons of Messerschmitt 109Ts. They are still... I hate to say this, they are probably still the worst fighters at Tier 8, and you only get 10 of them in the air with their supremacy. So, I think we'll just skip the formalities at this point, and just get straight into battle, because let's face it, she's a carrier, it's all about the air group. Stunt has warmed up Charlie, let's get going. Perfect start for the matchmaking. Well, it could be worse. I mean, if that Lexington is a air supremacy build, I'm in for some fun times, but his aircraft rating is only just lower than mine. So there's a very good chance he's strike or balanced, in which case I might have myself some fun. Unfortunately, there are only three battleships to bully. So, stand At least one of them's German. Well, yeah, I'll, I can live with that. So we'll park the graph behind this island just to your north, queue the fighter squadrons up to B and C, stack the bombers off to the southwest, because let's face it, when you're coming in from the northwestern start point, then, well, you tend to go south, and that means I'll tend to meet the battleships head on. And yes, Grimhaze, I know it is, I dare say, most vexing to see the graph. Don't worry, I'm sure she'll be released soon. I don't actually know when, but <laughs> soon. Trademark. Yes. So, get the game is afoot. In fact, you know what? I'm not going to move up just yet. We're going to have a sudden bout of common sense. Turn hard port, try not to smack into either of the Freddies and run south just onto the J-line. Yes, yes, I know. Artillery and carrier scumbags hiding at the back. 
Yeah, it's not like I can drown myself. Okay, scuttling's a thing, but <laughs> drowning is not, despite the fact that there's more water in one grid square than there is in most, well, the entirety of World of Tanks, really. Now, where mm -hmm. are the enemy? Let's get this scouting show on the road. I fully expect to see you blazing with your secondaries at some point tonight. There, we'll come to that because Graf's <laughs> new weapon fit is interesting. We have one fighter squadron visible. Now, is that because he's a 1 1 1 balanced or is he just being cagey and hiding his other fighter squads? Let's see, he's being fairly. There's the other fighter Second. squad. He's gone air superiority. Right. Breaking off. Gonna have to concede some of this, but I can distract his fighters away for a bit. Oh, no, he's not taking the bait. Fine, kick around to the north. Let's see if we can find something else to kill. A pair of Hindenburgs, which is kind of unpleasant. They're up northwest of sea. We haven't seen the battleships yet. Oh, there's the Tirpitz. And there's the Rune. There's both Hindenburgs. This is not looking promising. The only good news is that since the that Lexi has got, what, two Dipon squadrons? Oh, what do you know? Speak of the devil and they appear. <laughs> okay. Right. Looks like he's trying it to punch through. Fine. Let's, let's give him a test, see what happens. Kick in and bait. First strafe is going to miss. Fight His fighters pile on in and lock, lock, Break away, stun both his squadrons. Oh, he broke simultaneously. Wow. Those Lexis broke fast. But while his bombers are temporarily uncovered, move mine up, get group three into his dive bomber stream. Only problem is he may know what he's doing and he's got flat cover on the bombers at the moment. Oh, lost group two and he managed to duck out the way of that second strafe. Four, five, six, stack. And I'm about to lose group three as well. Yeah, there they go. And it's worth noting that in all of that, I managed to shoot down the grand total of zero aircraft. Like I said, grass, grass fighters are not great. Especially when they're that clumsily handled now. I need to find the battleship to kill. I also need to start motoring west because that Tashkent and that rune are working their way round. Okay, four, five, six, there's the Izumor. If I can get a decent stern shot on that we might get somewhere. Group two's back up in the air, group three likewise. Four, five, six. We have a Neptune. I, Ooh, I see it. Yeah, I think he might have spotted my bombers, however. So he hasn't twitched his fighter squadrons yet, but it's not gonna last. I need to expedite this bomb run. So, let's see what the nukes can do, shall we? One is more, he is motoring. We'll start with groups four and five since they're nicely stacked. Accuracy <clears throat> on these things is kind of impressive. Six and yoink, 15,000 off 11 bomb hits. Think I hit a little too far forward, didn't catch the citadel. Let's try that again. My torpedo boat, uh, torpedo belt has been promoted to Frederick de Grossa. Congratulations, I think. Four, five. Ah, it was the gearing that's here. Okay. Okay, group six is about to sacrifice themselves for the greater good. I need to run from this flank. Uh, yes, you appear to be running out of friends over there. Yep. Uh, Ismo, could you not look at me for a minute? That'd be very kind of you. Come on, stealth. Come on, stealth. Come on, stealth. Oh, this might hurt. Uh, yes, I think. Oh, are you stern on? Yeah, what do you Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> he missed completely. Right, and I've just about caught. It's taking a remarkably long time to knock down two American fighters. Hmm. 
Okay, one American fighter, two, yay, they're gone, right, so group two replenished, that's pretty much all my reserve fighters gone. Groups four, five, and six get back in the air. Although I think he might have adrenaline rush. Ow. Yeah, ow, you appear to have lost some paintwork. Just a little bit, we're fine. I wouldn't mind a fire though. Yes, I can imagine. Hit. Okay, group five back to base, group four and six in the air. And have to line up. I just hope the Shimakaze can yet dodge the bombs and the Lexi is having to run. Although he's not gonna get very far. Ooh, could you keep that gearing spot with your fight squadron, please? Hang on, switching it back. Thank you. Moving, 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 moving. There you go. One Thank you. One going squadron, do it. Lead him up. Okay. Time to hit this Izumo again. Group four from one side. Taking losses to the flak already, but still getting a decent line on him. Oink, there we go. Little adjustment, bring a group six. One hit, well, mostly because all but one of the bombs have been shot down, but now that his flak's in position. Yoink. No, don't circle, don't circle, don't circle. Oh, God. Lose three bombers while he, they're circling. Three hits, another 8,000 damage. Yeah, the Stukas are not delicate, but if you uh, leave them in flak too long, they do fall apart remarkably quickly against manual anti-air. Group 2 back in the air as well. Oh, I hit that gearing. That's good. Oh, goody. Well, I think he's been... Yeah, yeah, yeah he's been talking. <laughs> Group 5 coming in, move up around and try to think about making a dash for Group Point A. Astonishingly, we are winning this one. I don't know how. Most because I think the other guys are better at this than we are. Maybe. Their cruisers in particular are pretty good, but we did just lose our Udaloi, so... Ah, uh, yes, double fire and an Ismo in one salvo. Aha, uh -huh. mine. I love French guns. Uh huh. <laughs> Third fire. Uh. Well, I'm sure he's popular. You're popular with him at the moment. Oh yeah. Let's just see. He's not even bothering to turn. I think he's. I think he knows the end is nigh. Six hits, seven thousand damage. Kill his. He's gonna horse. burn out. Yeah. Thank you very much. Boom. Worth noting, I don't think I found any citadels during that little uh, bombing run. No. I've forgotten what the deck armor of uh, Ismo is. Uh, I, th I think just about every battleship after tier 6 or 7 has enough to trigger the fuse. I just don't quite think there was... I think I was just hitting the wrong place, honestly. Maybe. It's cruisers and the like that I expect to have trouble with the bombs not arming. Destroyers, of course, are simply in one side and out the other. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of, oh yeah, wait, was there a ship in there? Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, the Iowa's going to pay attention to me, isn't he? Uh, I'm more worried about the fact that the Iowa's going to start paying attention to my aircraft. Oh yeah, there is that too. Well, he doesn't even need to pay very much attention, he just needs to be in the general area. And <laughs> oh, hello, Fraulein! Turpits out on the nine line, nice and exposed from everyone else's flat cover. Have fun. Oh yeah. Yeah, we need... I'm just going to keep that Shimakaze spotted for you. Also need to keep Thank his fighters... In... Oh, goody, the Lexington's gone, so his fighters are no longer an issue. I'm just going to get me some revenge, if you don't mind. Ain't Help me. yourself. Group three away. Uh, is it the Iowa Turpets that's trying to get me? Yeah, probably... Yeah. 
Oh, no, it could be the Turpit still. The Bombers are almost in position now. Let's introduce him to the nukes. Well, I know technically they're not nuclear, but... This is usually good. And yoink, sending group four, stack group six. Ooh. Oh! 37,000 damage, group six has circled again. Get them back out of position. I think he's realized what's coming for him. Yeah. yeah he's turning, but it's not going to help him. Oh, thank you for saying up the kill for me. <laughs> it's kill securing, remember, not kill stealing. <laughs> True, true. But yes, now, where's the Shima? I want my Kraken. It's in the smoke cloud. Yeah. He can't have much longer left on that. The problem is more that... Oh, oh yes, you do want your Kraken, don't you? Excuse me. Oh, I got the hit. Yep. He's going to be scared now. Maybe. Doubt it. Got the, got the fighters overhead, so he's not going to be able to run. And that should be the last of his spotting gone. There you go. Who's that inconsiderate sod trying to nick your <laughs> It's the Hindenburg. Yes. And everyone else, by the look of it. You can hear the seagulls. Yep. Now, finding my shooting wasn't complete potato. Well, of course your shooting's complete potato. You're chasing a kraken. Yep. Guaranteed minus 100% accuracy. Oh, he's going to get behind the island before I can kill him. And then we're probably going to cap out. Yep. Yep, the curse of the Kraken. Oh no, he's on two and a half thousand. Uh, won't have a shot anymore and the Moss was going to get him. Yeah. Oh well. Oh well. Not a bad start to the evening. Better for you than for me. 100,000 damage thanks <laughs> mostly to that Tirpitz. Yep. So yes, as I say, this thing excels at bullying battleships. Perhaps a little too much.